Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yomi. My name is Yomi. I make college and art related videos. Today I'm going to be drawing one of the main characters from Squid Game, Jung Ho Yun. Jung Ho Yun is also known as Ho Yun Jung because in Korean culture your family name is said before your given name. So if you see both names around the internet, circulating the internet, just know that it's the same person. So Ho Yun Jung, she is a famous model in Korea, but she was not super famous to the point where she had so many Instagram followers or anything like that. She just had a few hundred thousand followers on Instagram, but in the span of a few days, she gained millions and millions of followers after people started watching Squid Game. So Squid Game is a mini series that is on Netflix. So if you wanna watch Squid Game, you can watch it on Netflix. And it has just become so popular over the, the past few weeks. And everyone has just been so enthralled by it. It's a social commentary and it's, it's only a few episodes. So all of my friends who were watching it watched it in like a day or two or three days. They were just so intrigued by what was going on in the story and it really resonated with them. And it was just, it's action packed. So please do not put any spoilers in the comments because there are a lot of people who wish to watch the show but have not watched it yet or have not found the time. So I would ap appreciate it if you would respect everyone by not spoiling anything. And I was just really, really excited to draw this model because the interesting thing about Ho Yun Jung is she has never had a major acting role before Squid Game where she was one of the main characters and Squid Game just rocketed her to a level of fame that was so unprecedented because she had not had many acting credits in general yet acting projects that were huge. So she was a model in South Korea and she was in Korea's Next Top Model and she was a contestant in that show which she was successful in the show. And she, she's just very beautiful as you can, hopefully you'll be able to tell later um, in the video when the picture is done. Um, I, hope I, I hope I could capture her beauty. But so many people were just intrigued by who is this actress who is playing this character? She is just honestly so beautiful. We wanna know who she is. We wanna know what this actress is about. Um, everyone, whenever I show them this picture that I drew of them, they're, they're always like, oh, that actress, she is literally so gorgeous. And it's just, it's common for people to say that. She's just a supermodel. So in the series Squid Game, she played a character, Kong Sebyok. Kong Sebyok. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> I guess my Korean is rusty. Um, never taken Korean or anything like that. But I, I wanted to capture her likeness which was something that was really important to me because when you do portrait art you want to capture someone's likeness because that's the most important thing honestly and and at this stage of the drawing she looks so much like olivia rodrigo which was bothering me even when i finished the picture originally she looked like olivia rodrigo and i'm like i want this picture to look like jung ho yin and the thing is that jung ho yin has a very structural face so i wanted to make sure that i could capture her very structural features because that is her structural features is part of the reason that she is just so beautiful. But I also wanted to make her look elegant because when you draw someone with a very structural face, you want to make sure that you can capture their elegance in a very specific way because that can be very hard to do. So I, I layered the picture originally with markers and then I added colored pencils on top to add detail. And I finished the picture and I wasn't happy with it. So then I I went back and I edited it digitally and I still wasn't happy with it. So I went back the next day and edited it digitally some more, which I'm now much happier with the picture and how it's turned out. I just really like how I could draw something for fun and not do it for school. And it was just, it was a great experience. I'm, I'm happy with the final result and I'm happy with the colors that I use because in the picture that I copied this reference from her hair was a very bright red. And I wanted to choose something different than that bright red because when I draw a picture, I want to make my picture different than the reference image, at least a little bit, because I don't like my art looking exactly like the art of someone else. Like how they say there's nothing new under the sun. But if, if you copy from the same reference image, your work can end up looking almost exactly the same. So I still want to add elements to my style and things to make the picture different. So that was something that was really important to me. So I added the stars in the picture, which I add in most of my pictures. I add stars because that's something that's very, very much a part of my style because I'm just very fascinated with astronomy and the stars, the aesthetics of astronomy and space, not so much the, the scientific aspect. 
but I just really enjoyed trying to make her look as glamourful as possible because it was hard at first because the piece wasn't turning out how I wanted it to be. As you can see right now, it doesn't look that much like her and that was bothering me so I went back and fixed it and I, and I was like, until I get this right, I am not posting this video because I need to make sure that I can get her likeness down. And at first when I showed the picture to my friends, they had no idea who it was and they had all watched Squid Game so that's not good. If they can watch so many episodes of a show and not tell who the person I drew was, that means I didn't do my job correctly. So finally, when I got to the final product and showed my friend, my friend is like, is that the girl from Squid Game? And I was so happy because it finally looked like her. So this is the stage in which I went into digital drawing. I use Autodesk Sketchbook, which they have now kind of discontinued the downloads of the app, which upset me. So I had to do it on my old computer. And I had to lighten her skin a lot because her skin just was not an accurate color. And when you're doing portraits, everything has to be accurate from the dimensions of the facial features, the proportions, the skin tone. Even making someone darker or lighter can make the person not look like the person you're drawing at all. It's just crazy. The little, little details can make the person you're drawing not accurate in, in the image. So I had to edit a lot of things like the shape of the forehead, the size of the forehead, the shape of the eyes, the angle of the eyes, um, the lip shade. The lip shade isn't as important because you can just wear lipstick and change the shade of your, your lips through makeup. So that wasn't as important, but the size of the neck just was incorrect. And yeah, the measurements were just totally off. And the thing is, when I do realistic portraits, I use a grid. But since this isn't a realistic portrait, I didn't use a grid. I, for cartoony portraits, I don't use... I don't use grids. So the proportions obviously still are not gonna be 100% accurate. They still could be a lot better, but it does look like her, I think, at least. So I'm just, I'm very happy with how this turned out. I think I captured her beauty and I'm happy that I persevered and didn't give up with this project because it was giving me trouble at first. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I can't wait for you guys to see the final result. I'm so happy with how it turned out and Jung Ho Yin, I hope I did you justice. You are so beautiful. It was so fun to do a piece of artwork that was just for me and not for school, since I just started college two months ago and I'm going to art school. So I just really enjoyed doing this piece and not having to do it for one of my professors or anything of that nature. So that was really, really fun. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see more content and comment video suggestions below.